Hearing from the Lynn County Gaming Association as the association once again is preparing to file for an all-important gaming license several years in the making. Now plans for that new Cedar Rapids Casino project were announced in 2022. Now that same year though, lawmakers in the state of Iowa put a moratorium on any new gambling licenses across our state. The two-year moratorium plan was to apply for a gaming license once that moratorium expires, that moratorium, by the way, expires on Sunday. So they'll get the application in very quickly on Monday, we're told. The next step for local leaders in Cedar Rapids is to attend the next Iowa Racing and Gaming Commission meeting, and that is coming up July 8th. We expect they'll talk about the application process and the next steps moving forward, perhaps a schedule, but we don't want to get ahead of ourselves. We're prepared to submit an application, but we want to make sure that we are in alignment with the um, Iowa Racing and Gaming Commission. Now, if the Iowa Racing and Gaming Commission does grant Cedar Rapids a license, this project would get underway for construction, cost about $250 million, and then the new casino, we're told, would give about 8% of its annual revenues to local nonprofits, which they estimate could be in about 5 to $7 million a year for area nonprofits.